We hardly have any left hand side. Welcome to Kim Fixes Things. I'm down in the weeds today because we had a, um, well, we lost the left drive on this here machine. And we knew that it was going and I got about a half hour of use out of it and then it just clunked. I found it was leaking fluid, so that was the end. Unfortunately, on a compact machine like this, everything is, you sit on top of the hydraulics and everything. And uh, we did everything we could with the levers to sort of get things, but it was still real weak. Anyways, uh, we don't have to wonder where the problem is anymore because today we're going to dig in. I've got some of the tins already uh, off and uh, a couple more hours of work and we'll have the motor out and the hydraulic unit out. I'll be finding out uh, why it stopped. Well, because we need to make it go again because uh, it has work to do. It's greasy enough that everything comes loose when you try, so that's... That's a good thing, except uh, I have grease up to my elbows every time I work on it. Put about uh, 10 hours into the machine already uh, since we got it here. And uh, now the real problems that we kind of suspected are, are, are jumping out. Someone's already uh, changed out the, all the wheel bearings, adjusted all the linkages. They put a new 24 horsepower Honda engine in it, and uh, it's still weak on the left side moving forward. Now moving backwards, it has plenty of uh, plenty of pull, so I don't suspect it's the drive motor or anything in the drive on that side. I really think it's a hydraulic power thing or a, you know, a directional sort of uh, equation there. So we're gonna take the uh, left-hand hydraulic motor out and uh, give it a good inspection. The superstructure is in the way so it does unbolt and slide out the back and uh, there's a lot of unbolting to do. We've already got a good start on it. Uh, I don't know, maybe I will become delirious from the heat and make some good jokes. It is a case 1816B uh, skid steer and it has about a half a million hours on it. We have no idea, it doesn't have an hour indicator but I can tell that it has been used throughout its life. See if we can get it back into a uh, serviceable working condition. This is a Honda GX620 uh, V-twin model uh, engine. It's about 22, 24 horsepower, something like that. And it fits like it was made to go into this case 1816B uh, skid steer unit. Um, it has plenty of power uh, under drive and lift to turn everything and give us lots of uh, horsepower. The problem is it is in the way of doing pretty much any kind of service to the hydraulic unit uh, in this machine. I gotta guess uh, it's got some aluminum. I'm still guessing it probably weighs just over a hundred pounds. I don't know. Uh, going to uh, divorce the two and take them separately. Uh, the motor's gonna get some service. It's catch up on all the maintenance on the motor. Then we are going to remove the hydraulic unit from this machine. And the hydraulic unit has uh, a lot of hours on it and some uh, deferred maintenance that is now causing some kind of failure. And we're going to discover what that failure is and uh, replace whatever needs uh, done because this machine uh, we need it. There's a lot of work that needs done and I can't be lifting things so I need I need the help of a, a machine like this. It's a very small machine but for a homeowner or someone with some property or a, a farm uh, it's, I already know it's going to be incredibly useful uh, so we're going to get it going and it's going to you know it's going to pay dividends. It's hard work and I can only work on it for a couple hours at a time uh, we're stuck down in the weeds, so there are ticks and mosquitoes aplenty, so we have to kind of endure that uh, because this machine is very heavy. Uh, you can't, like, push it. Uh, and I might be able to drive, drag it out of here with a truck, but uh, I, I don't have a truck that's four-wheel drive right now that's, that's running. 
which is kind of my fault, I think. I don't know how I get myself into these things, except that I negotiated a price for this machine based on the knowledge that it was going to need some of this work and that I was going to be capable of doing it. And so I got about a half hour's use out of the machine um, before it failed entirely, which was good because I was able to establish, you know, some a good idea of what the machine does. And so uh, the controls all function sort of the way I would expect. The bucket goes up and down and dumps properly with good strength. Uh, so there's no problems with the hydraulics for that, the loading part of this. The right hand side is, is strong and, and very good. Uh, it is definitely the, something wrong with the left hand um, pump. There's some cleanup that needs done on the exhaust piping and some of the wiring, which is everything that I own needs exhaust work and wiring work. So the good thing about all this uh, hydraulic fluid all over everything is that you don't have to worry so much about rust. The simple first step that we have to do is there's, uh, there's four bolts that hold this engine to a cradle uh, that is part of the hydraulic system. So if we just divorce this from that cradle down below here with these bolts that you won't be able to see me working on, uh, it'll just kind of come out of there and then we'll really be able to get a good look at where our failure point is. He is free except for the belts, which I don't know how to uh, disconnect. There's some kind of tensioner bolts, I presume. Really, that's what we're doing now? Belts are off. Wires and everything are off. We'll be back. Okay, it's gonna go. Don't hold it by the exhaust. She's gonna go straight down. And there she is. That's a removed motor, my friends. Let's give you some room so you can see. There's the motor. See, it's got a big uh, pulley on the back. And that's where that part of it ends. There's just belts. Belt going that way, belt going that way, belt going this way. So this is out of here, which is good. Don't lift by the exhaust. Now let's get a look at the hydraulic system. Little closer. Okay. All right. Now you can see the motor being platformed right here. There are three belts. This pump runs hydraulic pressure for the bucket and the loader. And then this is uh, your uh, right hand side drive and your left hand side drive. This here, if you could see, is the uh, the tensioner for both the right and left hand side. And this cable here goes up to the front of the unit um, and actuates these levers that allow it to move. And I think that that system is functioning poorly at best. Um, it should make even tension between the two. Uh, and I don't think it's doing what it's supposed to do very well. We can both look at the film and make an evaluation. And here we are. Gonna do it again. And back. This one rocks a lot. This one doesn't really do that as much. Now I think some of the problems that we're having are this. This is a like a razor sharp edge. I think this edge on the back side of this flange is rubbing against the housing. I'm too much of this happening where you see the other side doesn't. We're going to have to really check our tolerances and get this back into tolerance so that when it engages these motors don't slip, vibrate too much, and I believe we're going to need a rebuild on this left hand drive pump. It's really this most difficult one to get to. Uh, they gave up. 
before they were willing to uh, make the repair. So we're going to make that repair and then we are going to uh, profit, cha-ching. Actually, no, because we paid too much for the machine. I'm going to remain hopeful that this can be reconditioned without a huge investment. At least I'm not in Pittsburgh. Could be worse. Ugh. There's still going to be some hoses on that side, although the linkages for the uh, levers for the main drives are already disconnected. Uh, so basically I disconnected it as much as I could, knowing that there's still some stuff, but it's going to be easier to tell exactly what I need to get as I move it out. So this is easy. A girl could do it. Oh, this is much easier than I was thinking so far. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's heavy, but it's moving. Got some, some things, you see what falls out, you know, as you, something's a little stuck. She ought to move a couple more inches before I'm this stuck, so let's see. Try again. Yeah, it's just sticky. Uh, okay, we're hung up on a hydraulic hose. There it goes. Work with me though. We're just jackknifed a little bit. Yep. Okay. All right. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to clean things off a little bit, and then uh, the last two hoses I'm going to get some fluid coming out. So I want to be prepared to catch that. If the Canadian fires can teach us anything, it's not to spew oil all over, you know, forestry. Recycle it responsibly so we don't have to wear it because I'm wearing enough. I got it. I'm covered in the green and uh, this finger. This thing is filthy. We'll have this out of here and we'll be able to service the unit on a bench where there's not so many bugs and I don't have to be under this blazing sun. Okay, you're not going to believe this is ready to come out. A couple more hoses there was all it took. And we are, it's, it's under 100 pounds, I can tell. It is heavy. All right, it's ready to go to the bench. God dang, it's really gross. There they are. Uh, two individual hydraulic units, one for uh, left and right with a springing uh, clutching mechanism that makes them uh, move out so that they get tension. A drive shaft would be right between them. And then this mount here is for the upper one. And you can see there's not much left to the machine. Uh, down in the bottom by the bucket there's the drive motors. Uh, the chains are up front. You can see that drive the wheels front and back on either side. And then this uh, this hydraulic unit here, uh, there's the pump and the valve assembly, and that's for the loader. We're going to have to give this a good cleanup and then uh, figure out what's wrong with the left-hand side and put it all back together. I figure about uh, 10 or 15 hours more work to get it back to uh, a working machine. All right, now he takes that all up to the shop. Gonna get a rebuild going, among other things. It might take a day to get parts, but uh, things are moving forward. <laughs>